Oh. Hey guys, welcome to a day that you would definitely prefer to spend in the shade. Or as we're gonna do, we're gonna spend some time indoor because it's gonna be 33 degrees today. There's like no wind and that's too much for Danish people since we don't have any air conditioning. Um, so I'm going to focus on the inside today. I've brought this piece of furniture with me today. Fun fact is that when I moved out of my childhood home, I was 18 years old, I painted a few pieces purple and this was one of them. So it's one of the very first pieces I ever painted for my own home. I plan to use it right in here for my tools and things. That's just one big mess. And then I also brought my lace curtain from my bedroom and I want to hang that up in the kitchen. Um, I would just love some long lace curtains. And since I'm moving out of my apartment soon, I thought these would be brilliant to use here instead of finding something new. So that's gonna be fun. We're going to paint my old purple cabinet white today. Maybe I'm going to add some details in some complementing colors. But we have another paint project that I've been wanting to do for such a long time. You might be able to guess what it is. We are finally going to paint this dull grey wall. And to begin with I'm going to paint white and then we'll see what we're going to do next. I just really want to brighten up this part of the room, maybe change this out to something else and add some shelves, hang up some stuff here because that's pretty far away from the wood burner so it's not going to be a problem. And oh, this feels amazing. <laughs> We're getting in a little bit of fresh air. And you can see out here my grass is growing a lot. Soon we're going to have a grass area out here. You might notice in this video that my hedges are now a lot less bushy and that they are shorter and that's because I have done the whole like cutting the hedges for the year. It took me two days, it was super sweaty um, but they now look a lot different. I didn't film it for a video here on YouTube but I did share the progress on Instagram story and I made a highlight so if you want to see the progress it was, it was good. And my garden is now ready to be approved. So that's something you need to do when you have an allotment garden. You need to cut the hedges and there are like height rules and such. Um, so. I have finally bought some rocks for the kitchen. The floor in here is super cold, it is also not super flattering. So I got some very natural, they're not going to take much like attention at all, but they're going to cover the floor, It'd be nice to walk on. Got these, I might just wash the floor before I'm going to put them out. I bought two gold spoons. Because I don't have any spoons here, so we need to wash those. And I bought something very, very boring, but I really hope it's going to fit. Because up until now, I've not been able to use my oven because there were no, what's this even called? What's this called? There were nothing like this for the oven. Um, so I have measured, and this should fit. Cross our fingers. These. No! It's still too damn small. What is up with this oven? <laughs> no! It's 
very clear that this whole kitchen needs to get painted because the floor doesn't really get clean. Um, yeah, so this is it for now. Ooh. That looks decent and not too eye-catching and it's perfect for walking around in here with bare feet. I'm gonna start by painting this outside while we still have some shade and then I can move inside when we're done. It's probably going to take three coats until it's all white and then I was thinking it would be cute to paint this maybe light green and the bottom in a different color and maybe the robe in the same color as the bottom. Maybe. I think plain white is a little bit boring and it's dripping. All of these details. painted the corner and it's made a huge difference we have a blank canvas we can take it anywhere from here and it's just brightened up the room so much already it kind of makes me think how amazingly love and bright it could be in here if i also paint it the ceiling i have a wooden ceiling out here in the kitchen and it's a very tiny room so i could just imagine if i paint it and lightened up the ceiling too, the room would just feel a lot bigger. Color wise, my plan is to paint the ceiling and the walls in like a sand color, a very light one, to also bring in a little bit of warmth because white can be quite a cold color in the wrong room. So that's probably where we're going and I'm strongly considering getting started soon <laughs> until then I'm going to paint the frame of the window and you can see this is also dark brown my camera is definitely not picking it up as gracefully as I would have hoped 
but it has already made a huge difference and I hope that you can see that grey is still coming through the paint it would need a few more coats but the difference is still massive to me especially when you're here in the room it's pretty easy for me to see here compared to the bedroom just how warm and inviting that is compared to the kitchen was that a butterfly yeah it was <laughs> it left again um so i'm still thinking that a sand color in here instead of the white would do like a massive difference for the room but i'm looking forward to hanging up some pictures and decorating we're gonna put in the lace curtain as soon as the paint has dried and yeah i'm gonna think about the ceiling i just think it would make a huge difference If you haven't already noticed my hedges, I would like for you to look to the left and just appreciate it. Oh, we have some butterflies. But it's way too hot to spend much time outside. These ones are thirsty. My sunflower bush, I've heard that if you remove all of the dead flowers you will get double as many like twice the amount so I actually think I'm going to cut off the dead ones lace curtain looks really romantic and lovely from the outside I love that you can pull them out through the window um, but from the inside I'm not 100% sure it might have something to do with the length oh you can see there <laughs> like it's very long so I might just need to take some of the length and then it's gonna look really adorable because a really long curtain is gonna make the house look smaller after hanging up the curtain I decided that I had been sweating enough for the day so my boyfriend and I went to the beach to cool down and enjoy the sea breeze thank you so much for watching I'm gonna see you all very soon